All right, one thing I <clears throat> have put a, a lot of utilization uh, with uh, solar panels, and it's about an 18 watt, uh, 1.2 amp solar panel. Now I've got it hooked up directly with these alligator clips to cigarette light adapter. Now these are these jump start um, sealed uh, lead acid battery uh, devices you see in a lot of places and everything. Basically you can charge, I've charged these out uh, where we've had no electricity and I've used all the power and simply I mean you can hook it up to straight to your car battery uh, cigarette lighter or the transformer that comes with it to AC but if you don't have that I've taken the solar panel and just plug it in directly into the back and it'll charge the battery just as it normally would. As you can see it's on high so it's already charged up. Uh, I've been added on since this morning and basically uh, recharge the battery without a problem. What I've done with this so that I have uh, AC current from this little device I've actually velcroed a 400 watt inverter as you can see it's kind of held on as well with the bungee cord and all I got to do is just plug the inverter into one of the cigarette lighters adapters that come with mostly I want to have one this one has two and I can simply turn this on and I'll have power uh, portable power so it's like a little generator you can buy them all in one in fact some of them come with the air compressor as well but this works real nice uh, it's like my own portable little generator this is a 22 amp hour um, not really sure even, but I think it was a Walmart. But I've got three of these, three different brands, bought them at three different times, and um, you know, as, as they get older, the uh, it gets less and less, but they're perfect for portable power, for DC, as well as just getting your little inverter and hooking it up that way. So I'm pleased with this little device, and again, just a little one amp solar panel will do the trick.